Hey guys, it's a great apostate here coming at you. Hope you're doing well. It's been a minute or two since I last made a video. Probably two, two and a half years, must be. Uh, I had no intention of ever making one again. But like many of you, I spent not the full hour and a half, but a few minutes watching the slow motion uh, train crash of uh, Lloyd Evans, John Cedars yesterday, as he uh, had to explain away uh, his private life misdeeds. And now I don't want to be hypocritical about this because I'm all for a private life. I'm all for your personal, you know, uh, remaining personal. And more importantly than that, if anyone has ever been foolish enough over anything I've ever done in my life to say you're a good guy, I always replied, and I know it sounds daft, but I always replied with that, that verse in the Bible, no one's good but God. And people are must, were probably thinking, oh, he's a religious motherfucker. <laughs> you know, but no, far from it. I am somewhat religious, but far from it. The point was... There's a real uh, freedom in knowing that you're not good, that you're as lousy as everyone else. And everyone else is, is as lousy as you, because then you can look each other in the eye. And uh, so I, I'm not one for uh, for preaching about uh, about uh, against other people and insulting them. That said, there's a few things you shouldn't do. And let's be honest. Uh, one thing, you shouldn't blame the Jehovah's Witnesses on every ill thing that happened in your life. OK, you shouldn't say, oh, when I, I got married because I was young, because I was a Jehovah's Witness and I thought it would be brilliant, but it wasn't everything I'd hoped for. You don't say, hands up, who's married and thought and it's everything they hoped for. How many women would say that? No, it's ups and downs and lefts and rights and goods and bads, but it's a partnership and it's, it's something that you promised to stick together with and... Breaking it, that breaking that promise, I got a, not got a lot of time for. I'm not going to lie. Uh, regardless of who you break it with, I find it much seedier when you're doing the breaking with prostitutes. Let, let me put it that way. Uh, whenever I was younger, I had a discussion with my then now dead uncle, uh, who was very political, and as it turns out, probably a pedophile. Uh, but I had a <laughs> don't laugh. I'm named after him. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so uh, yeah, so I had this discussion at the time. I was very young because it was actually back when Bill Clinton was sleeping around and, uh, you know, smoking those enhanced cigars with Monica Lewinsky. And uh, so, old, so old people will know what I'm talking about. And anyway, uh, he was basically brushing it off at a visit to our house one time and saying, well, you know, it's just private life. You know, it's really disgusting that people even bring it up. Why should they? It's his private business. And I remember, I mean, I'm like... I'd have to go back and check, but I got to be 12, 13 at the time. And I'm saying to him, okay, uh, but but surely if you're not capable of honoring a vow you made to the person you love most on earth, then you probably aren't capable of, of honoring promises you make to me who you don't know. And of course he shook his, hat, his head and said, oh, it's not that simple. And, you know, but I'm 47 now and it kind of is that simple. If you can't get on with your wife, leave your wife. Oh, but it would destroy the, the family. Then don't leave your wife. You know, and I know that's difficult. And I know loads of us fail. And there's times when I thought I might have failed. Uh, but I'm still here. I'm still kicking and I'm still trying. One thing I'm not doing, though, is using Patreon money to buy hookers in foreign countries. Who knew? Uh, Lloyd, as he's known, uh, John Cedars, rather, as he's known, Lloyd. Lloyd's not even his real name either, I believe. Uh, but anyway, Lloyd was uh, on the video and he was saying, you know, well, should I give uh, receipts of all the things that, you know, of all the money that I get and everything I spend it on? I thought, well, you know, no, I don't think anyone would expect receipts, but maybe, you know, maybe just a, an itemized note in your account saying, you know, spent on tie hookers. That might be useful. And people might like to know that little detail. And how, how, how do you manage? How do you manage to look people in the eye and claim any moral high ground over the Jehovah's Witnesses when you behave like that? The Jehovah's Witnesses are bad and they treat women just disrespectfully. Okay. Do you know how many women are trafficked into sex work? Oh, no, let me do a better one. How many women do you think, how many prostitutes do you think if it would put their hands up if you asked them, did you do this voluntarily? Right? I would suspect that a lot of guys who use hookers, a lot more of them than realize, are actually rapists. Okay? And it's very rare you're going to hear me say left-wing feminist type stuff. 
but for God's sake, it's obvious, man. Don't break your vows. Don't claim a, a moral high ground that you are not capable of holding. And don't use traffic women, which you almost certainly do. For goodness sake, Tinder's a thing. Grinder's a thing if it's your, if it's your thing. But oh my goodness. Well, anyway, listen. You know what you what you like. You know who you want to support. I'm not going to tell you who you can and can't send your money to. Don't send it to me. I don't want it. All right? Because I'm a man and I don't need your cash. Whenever I stopped doing activism, I went to my last few people who were on Patreon and I contacted them. I said, please stop sending me money. And they did. And now their money's their money. And I don't owe them. And I don't feel guilty for taking it. And I, I certainly don't need to give receipts on how many hookers I bought because I don't buy hookers. So guys, if you've got uh, if you've got a thought on this, I'd be interested to know. But uh, this is still probably the last video I'll ever make. But for goodness sake, be careful who you follow. Be careful who you give your allegiance to. Because I've looked on the Reddit thread and uh, the Facebook thread, and uh, that man can do no wrong. There's people, you know, oh, I don't care what you did. You've helped. How have you helped? You made some YouTube videos? Some very long YouTube videos? Okay. Okay, fair enough. You did that. I wanted more. I wanted so much more from you, John. I wanted so much. I wanted you to be the person organizing protests because you would have done bigger. You'd have done it bigger than we could have. I would have wanted you helping people who were phoning up at night saying they were going to kill themselves. I would have wanted you supporting the weak and the elderly. But all you did was support yourself and use people. Allegedly. I'll do that Daily Mail inverted quotes. Or, you know, in quotes thing, so I don't get sued. I find it creepy. I hope you do too. Guys, this is The Great Apostate signing out. <sighs> like and subscribe if you like and subscribe. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm going home to look after my sick daughter. And uh, probably, I'll probably skip the tie hookers today. Who knows? We get Korean next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.